Hello again YouTube, a quick video again on my Korg DSS-1. Um, wanted to talk about the harmonic synthesis and the waveform drawing feature of this keyboard. Now when I first got this, uh, the floppy was broken so I had to replace it with this great um, beige floppy which cost me a few bucks but before I had that I had to create my patches individually each time I turn on the keyboard. Um, very analog. <laughs> anyway, I used either the drawing the waveforms and the harmonic synthesis to create the basic waveform or oscillator and then I programmed the parameters from there. Uh, I'll show you both of them. The draw waveform, what you end up doing is you use this to create your waveform shape so it's like time is going and each time you move this you're placing that cursor at a specific spot to draw a waveform just like you would see in a in a DAW, you know. So I'll do that real quick for you. I'll, I'll hit one. It says, you know, press enter to start. And that's showing you the time on the bottom and the level on top. So depending on what you do, it's going to change that. And it's going to create a single cycle waveform and create a multi sound which gets spread across the entire keyboard. Kind of cool retry? No, I don't want to retry that and I don't want to edit it. I'll show you the other way of dealing with it. You can go into harmonic synthesis here and you can choose different presets. There's saw wave, square wave, metal, clav, organ. Um, and you can just use those presets. So it's very easy to get a basic oscillator sound and create a synth preset. You can also go in and create a blank one. Now what this means is that all of your different harmonics here you have up to 128 different harmonics and if you're not familiar with harmonic synthesis you know look it up but the harmonics are the harmonic overtone series it's something that exists you know naturally in the world and um, it's, it's physics so it's pretty interesting stuff from a standpoint of synthesis um, it's easy to just think of the basic waveforms and think of saw waves and square waves and which harmonics are present in that but what's nice is you can adjust which harmonic you want to adjust the level for and then set the respective level for that one harmonic. So if you just want to have certain harmonics have a certain sound, a certain volume, you can do that. So I'll just choose one randomly here. And I like to usually leave the first harmonic full volume so I have a nice pure sine wave sort of tone. So it's creating sine waves for each of those harmonics. You can get some real glassy sort of DSS or DX7 sort of sound and those are really cool when you get those really high harmonics in there because then you can filter them out um, like for instance you can you can set your oops I went past it didn't I what am I looking at there we go you can go ahead and, and set with your your modulation for your filter you can set that up to do some pretty cool Set, change that, bring that filter down. So you can get some pretty cool sounds out of that. Um, and it's pretty infinite as far as the capabilities, but it is only single cycle waveforms. So they're basically just different shaped oscillators. You're not really sampling or doing too much with it. That is uh, the basics of that. It's pretty straightforward. And then, of course, once you create these waveforms and these um, either withdrawing it or the harmonic synthesis, you've created an entire multi-sound, in which case generally you want to actually save that multi-sound to a disk, and then later you can create a whole, a whole um, system full of different presets and different parameters for that one specific sample, some that have a, the filter open, some that the filter opens and closes, etc. Anyway, uh, if you're thinking about getting one of these, I hope that that helps you understand a little bit of the capability of the keyboard. Um, and like I say, you can use this without any disk drive. You just have to program it each individual time. A little cumbersome. Uh, so hopefully if you've got a DSS sitting around there without a floppy and you're not interested in fixing it, this will at least give you an option to, to work with it again. Cheers and keep making good music, YouTube. Um, Check out my blog if you haven't already. I've got some audio production tips as well as tips on the Korg DSS, uh, my beloved Korg ESX sampler 
Groovebox. I've also got tips on and, and other various things. Uh, check that out. That's Carillon Audio. It's a WordPress site, and I will have that link at the bottom of this video. Cheers. Talk to you later. Bye.